Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. Welcome to another interesting and fun lesson this week. In today's lesson, we'll be investigating some properties and characteristics of sound energy. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to give examples of loud and soft sounds as well as infer about the volume of sound. But before we proceed with our main topic, let us review our past lesson about the properties of light. Read each statement carefully and try to guess the word it refers to. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you got them all correctly, congratulations! As a safety reminder, always be careful in handling materials. Perform the activities carefully so you will not harm yourself. Always perform the activity in the presence of an adult. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. When an object vibrates, air particles move. These air particles bump into each other, which then cause a wave. This vibration moves fast or slow depending on the sound produced. So for today's lesson, let's investigate some properties and characteristics of sound energy. For our first activity, picture a stone thrown into a still body of water. What do you think is produced? We will be needing the following materials. Now, watch this video. When both the coin and the ball was dropped into a still basin filled with water, rings of waves were produced. It starts from the center going outwards from small circle to a bigger circle. The same is true with sound. When the coin was dropped, it creates a slow moving wave. In sound, it means it represents a soft sound. When the ball was dropped, it creates a big wave. It represents a loud sound. Volume is the softness or loudness of sound. 
it measures the amount of energy in sound waves. The amount of energy in a sound wave is measured in decibels. So how do sound waves be soft or loud sound? When you describe a sound, the first thing you think is about loudness. Loudness is a measure of how strong a sound seems to us. If we apply greater force in an object, we produce loud sound. But if we apply lesser force, we produce a soft sound. Another thing is, if you are far from the source of the sound, the volume is low or soft. But if you are near the source of the sound, you hear it louder. Have you ever experienced shouting inside the cave or even inside your bathroom? What did you notice? Chances are, you also heard what you just said. This is called reflection of sound. Sound bounces back whenever it strikes a barrier. This reflected sound is also known as echo. Sometimes, reflection happens repeatedly and you would encounter repetitions of what you have said. Ready for some challenge? Our challenge for today is guessing whether the following statement is true or false about the different properties and characteristics of sound. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! So that's it for our lesson for today about the different properties and characteristics of sound. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheets. Once again, I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening and see you next time. for today. See you next time!